Hello everyone, my name is Danny Tai. For those who are watching for the first time, my channel will be sharing about real estate in Vietnam. This is actually my very first English speaking video with specific content for foreigners. And in the future, I will definitely do more videos in English, which uh, have you get to know more about Vietnamese property market. By the way, please don't skip Vietnamese speaking videos as they mostly have in the subtitle, which you may find helpful as well. And in today's video, I'll be explaining everything relating to residential property purchase in Vietnam. Without further ado, let's get started. Purchase property. Long time ago, foreigners were not allowed to buy any property in Vietnam. Not until 2015, when the new housing law was applied to open Vietnamese real estate market to foreign ownership. If you buy real estate as individual, you must be able to enter Vietnam by having different types of visas. Or for entities like foreign investment funds, banks, Vietnamese branches, and representative offices in Vietnam. So, what types of property can foreigners buy? So you can only buy apartment, residential low-rise property in urban development like a townhouse or a villa and of course, resort property. However, low-rise property will be a little bit more difficult to buy and I will explain in the next part. For apartment, 30% of total units will be sold to foreigners under sale and purchase agreement aka SBA and 10% apply for landed property in one administrative block. And how long can you own the property? So for Vietnamese, the ownership will be freehold and it is 50 years leasehold ownership for foreigners which can be extended. What are your rights to your property? Before 2015, your property could be only self use, but nowadays you can resell, lease, inheritance, mortgage or even donation what are exit strategy this is particularly important for investors for foreigners the lease term of your ownership would be deducted continuously from the new owner lease term for example you bought a wholly new condo having 50 years ownership and after five years of using the next owner will only have 45 years left and when you resell to a vietnamese they will obtain freehold ownership rights. So, are there any taxes and fees? Upon purchase, you will need to pay 10% of VAT applicable on purchase price and 2% of maintenance fee to be paid when the unit is handled over. In terms of rental, 5% of VAT on rental income payable and 5% of personal income tax, aka PIT, on rental income payable. Finally, resale tax. So when you resell your unit, 2% tax will be applied on the selling price. So when you purchase a property, you will either have sale and purchase agreement, SBA, or long-term lease agreement, less competitive. When you buy an apartment development at the very early stage in which the land is empty or under construction, after the foundation is done, if you are on the quota of 20% for foreigners, you will sign on SBA. Otherwise, if you are off that quota, you will sign on LTA. So, what are the main differences between them? Please refer to the table here. Basically, the main difference is buyers with SBA will have ownership certificate, aka PIN book, in the future. Meanwhile, LTL is not. And you don't need to show any proof of entry to Vietnam if you buy under LTL. Buyers with LTL will be benefited from lower selling price and having all similar exit strategy like SBA, like reselling or leasing out your unit to both foreigners and Vietnamese. So finally, what does a transaction process look like? All right, so as you can see, firstly, you're gonna deposit for your desired unit. Secondly, you will sign deposit agreement upon receipt of deposit. So thirdly, you need to visit Vietnam and open a local bank account if you haven't had one yet. 
So the reason why you need to open local bank account is the British government need to follow up international cash flow to avoid money laundering. So if you make payment via your international bank account, the money from resale or lease will be really hard for you to withdraw this money out of Vietnam. So some international banks with branch in Vietnam, I highly recommend or send a charter, HSBC, Citibank, and ANZ. And fourthly, when the foundation is done, you will sign on SBA. Fifthly, you will need to conduct payment according to the schedule and your agent will need to advise you before you buy the condo, right? And sixthly, you will be notified two weeks before the handover. And lastly, the agent will need to assist you for handover or listing. So smartly choose your trusted agent, right? Okay, so those are some information I want to share in this video. I hope it is helpful to you all. In case you might want to have all this information in a video file, please don't hesitate to contact me via my phone number or my email or even comment in this video and I will definitely send it to you. Last but not least, thank you so much for watching my video and please support me by smashing the like button and subscribe and ring the bell so you won't miss any upcoming video. Bye bye.